Port, and today I'm going to take you on an interpretive walk along the American River and the American River Parkway and discuss some cool and interesting facts about it. First one is, is almost roughly 160 years ago, gold was first discovered along this riverbed in these sands by the pioneers that chose to come over here because of it. Along the American River, there's also lots of obstacles and hazards that you need to look out for when planning any sort of recreational activity. One in main importance being people that like to go out on the river and party and have a good time. They may have a time doing it, but afterwards they leave behind a mess that is not right for other people that want to enjoy it as well. For instance, we have broken glass. This is a very interesting hazard because not only does it create a hazard for people that want to have fun here, but it also leaves behind a scarring of the natural environment that no one really likes to see. And if you look right here, I've discovered a common plant called steak grass. Snake grass gets its name, of course, from itself looking like a snake. It has different separate parts, like that of a ribbing of a snake. Here, we've reached one of the many natural inlets of the American River. It provides that of a natural environment and a home for many of the species that live here. As you can see, it provides shelter for many birds, animals, squirrels, and turtles. As you can see here, people love to change the way the American River Parkway is, but that's usually not a good thing, especially in this case. This has been changed by many bike enthusiasts and BMX people that choose to believe that changing the environment just a little bit is beneficial to their fun, but it is not beneficial to the ecosystem and the environment within. They have taken many dead logs and piled them up. They have displaced dirt and gravel and sand and changed it and to be honest it doesn't look that good and it's a very big sore eye to this whole natural beauty of the American River Parkway. The American River Parkway there are tons of trails and lines and areas you can go that create a lot of mystery and fun in it. For instance this is a trail I used to travel on quite heavily but after the years there have been trees that have fallen and it has changed the path. It used to go over to my left, but now it has come underneath this tree branch, which has, has a lot of overgrowth on it. And to me, it seems cool and mysterious just traveling these trails and seeing where you can go and having fun. Because not only is it good to help out the environment, but it is good to enjoy it every once in a while. Let loose, go out and have some fun and enjoy it. In 1996, the Congress wanted to improve upon this levee system, and by doing so, they created a slurry wall that would go inside the levee with a 24 mile stretch of the levee, helping that of the people on the other side of the levee. This project took a total of $56 million to complete, but now it leaves the people on the side living high and dry and not having to worry too much about floods. in the American River Parkway, there are a lot of natural plants, just like this berry bush behind me. And everywhere along the American River, there are thousands of these bushes. They are edible, but just make sure you read up on your guide before you go out and taste anything. And make sure you know what you're eating before you eat it. Thanks for walking with me today and exploring what this American River Parkway truly has to offer. It has a lot of 
environmental needs and a lot of recreational needs as well. But until we can truly learn how to combine those without having an impact on either, is it truly the best way to enjoy this parkway?